What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. I'm gonna y'all gonna be showing y'all uh, a few pair of shoes separately. I'm gonna be uh, deep cleaning. There's another pair of Air Maxes. Pair of uh, Jordan 23s. Gonna need deep clean inside and out, all the way around. Pair of SBs. Gonna need deep clean also. I think he also wants to do uh, um, waterproof on the material also. I'm just going to wipe these down because he said he cleaned them before and he got a haze from another company out of the mall. So I'm going to try my cleaner and see what happens. So I'll keep it locked. I'm just going to wipe these down. Don't really need a deep clean. See this haze. That's not good. All right, y'all, we're going to get into deep cleaning each pair. Got to take the laces out of each pair of shoes and then get the scrubbing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I only can get the laces out of these two pairs. These two pair I cannot. These have a knot in them. And these have frayed ends. So I don't want to mess with those. And I'm going to be showing y'all the after, after I'm done. All right, y'all. I was using a rock replenish material cleaner. Shake well. All cleaned up. Gonna once over them one more time and then put the What's going on y'all? Welcome back. Um, I had a customer that tried to go to, well, went to Arundel Mills and got the cleaner from there. He says every time he uses it, he gets this film on it. He said it only happens to his phone posits and these uh, phone posit uh, Nike Air Force Ones. But uh, let me see if my cleaner can clean them up without basically get, leaving that film. So y'all, I guess keep it locked. I'm using uh, Rock Replenish material cleaner in a spray bottle. You know, I normally use it in a bottle. And I always remember to shake it up. So you get all the goodness mixed up in there. So, all right, now that you see the haze is gone, I'm like on here, as you can see, no haze, and the shoe looks good. All right, y'all, welcome back. Customer wanted these to get waterproof, so I brought them outside so I can uh, spray them to get waterproof. This other pair of shoes too, just for the hell of it. Alright, I'm gonna let these dry and I'm gonna hit them off one or two more times. And then I'm gonna show y'all the final product of uh, them being waterproof. Keep it locked. I'm gonna get into uh, getting these waterproof also. What's going on y'all, welcome back. I'm gonna be testing the waterproofer. Got some water right here. I'm just gonna be dumping this right on the shoes. I know y'all saw that. I know y'all saw that. And this is the test, see them holes? That's some big holes, right? And I know y'all see this. Woo! Yes, Lord. Making a mess. Woo, nothing in there. Look at that. If y'all need any work done, holla at me. I'm going to do one more video. And it's going to just show the before and basically the after of me cleaning them and stuff. You already see what the waterproofer does. Welcome back, y'all. All the shoes are done. I'm gonna show you individually. Here's one pair of Air Maxes. Deep clean inside and out. 
the pair of Nike Air Maxes. Deep clean inside and out. Also waterproof. Nike SBs. Deep clean inside and out. Also waterproof. The main problem with these was the white bottom was uh, kind of brownish. Had to put some elbow grease into it. Jordan 23s deep clean inside and out. Also waterproofed. 